Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Welcome back, Diecast Outcast here, episode 35. Today we're going to restore a 1969 to 71 Redline Twin Mill from Hot Wheels. I bought this car off of either eBay or Facebook in a lot of a bunch of different other red lines. It was pretty rough, but I think we'll be able to take care of it. The Twin Mill is an iconic car from Hot Wheels. This is an American version. Do some body work, uh, mix up some of my own Spectra Flame, put some new motors on it. I've got some new wheels for it, polish the glass, clean the interior, and it'll be good as new. So let's see what happens. This car is pretty popular, so it does surprise me that people went back and did some realistic versions. So if you want to do some research, there is an app called Fandom. It is a Hot Wheels app and you could type in the year and it'll give you the different colors and styles that went with the car. This one was originally green and that was one of the most common colors. So we're gonna go back with the same color. It's a pretty neat and informal app, so if you guys get a chance, check it out. And there's the green that we're going to go for. First things first, we're going to drill the posts out. Now let's tear this car apart and see what the innards look like. I know the engines are missing some of the exhaust, so I ain't going to use those anymore. Now the paint's pretty chipped up, but the body's in excellent shape. I don't see a whole lot of toning, so this will probably make for an easy restoration slash custom. Whatever words you want to associate with this. There was something living in it, so that's like a skin of a spider or something. Probably a black widow or brown recluse. But we're going to throw it in a citrus strip and get this thing stripped down. Using a citrus strip, the spectra flame just came right off, so... Here is a picture of the car stripped down and just cleaned up. We're going to clean it up, smooth it out a little bit. So I used the green scratch bright. Then smooth those scratches out with a four aught steel wool. And this is what it turned out looking like. We're gonna polish this up, give it a mirror shine so we can go back over it with a Spectre Flame style paint that originally came out on this car. We're gonna use a Mother's Aluminum Mag polish, polish it up.
I'm using a polishing ball that is made out of cotton to smooth these scratches out. After doing some work off camera, this is the result we got. Looks like a mirror. It's going to be a great base for the paint. I left a few blemishes in there to keep it looking like it's an original red line because it did come from 1969 to 71. The base on the twin mill is painted, so I went with the same process and did the base with it. Polished it out and gave it a mirror shine as well to see if I can get close to matching to the body. To create my own Spectre Flame style paint, I'm going to use some of this clear coat. And then I am going to mix in some green India ink that I bought from Hobby Lobby. The ink will tint the clear coat, giving it the candy or Spectra Flame style finish. After a few drops, we're going to give it a little shake for luck. Four coats later through the airbrush, and I am happy with the finish. I know it looks like an aqua color to you, but it is definitely a green. This is real close of what it looked like when it came from the factory. So to replace the factory engines, I went ahead and tore apart this twin mill and it is a treasure hunt i'm sorry guys i know some people's going to be upset but they're not worth a whole lot so i didn't get hurt about it now it's almost time for the assembly we've got the engines the interior cleaned up really nice and polished the windshield out the paint job turned out exactly how i wanted to no runs and it has a killer shine I finally bought the tool, so we're going to go ahead and put some of the replica redline wheels on. This is what we started with. 1969 through 71 twin mill red line from Hot Wheels. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I know I haven't replied to the comments lately. I've been out of pocket. That's why I haven't made a video lately. Got some stuff going on. However, I read each and every one and I appreciate everybody that supports the channel. I've got quite a few more red lines to do in the future 
And if you'd like the Red Line restorations and customs, please check out Diecast Graveyard. Paul, he tears these things up. He does a good job. And this is the final result. I know on camera it looks like it's an aqua or a turquoise or some color like that. But I can guarantee you that in person it is definitely a dark green. And this is a before and after picture, so you can see the difference. I'm extremely happy how this turned out. It's going to look good in the display with all the others. Don't forget you can catch me on YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. And thank you for watching Diecast Outcast here.